what's up? So I just finished my first trip at the uh, Anaxis dungeon, and this is my uh, this is my loot. So the only rare drop table, the the the, the, the higher tier one, the one in five hundred, the only one I got was the shield. But that is the best possible item I could have gotten. So I'm I have no complaints. Um, in total, I really didn't get that much. I uh, I got two sinister key drops. I got a clue box drop, a Zora scale drop, a uber component drop, one crystal component drop. Um, I think most of these hard clues are normal. Um, the, that rune, this is from, these two right here are from superiors. And then if we check this, I got a two master ca casket drop, uh, two different rare fossils, and I believe that's it. I think everything else in here is just random from, from drops. So not a crazy amount of stuff, but it's it's good stuff that you can't normally buy. So it's theoretically a way, you know, it's a way to just buy stuff. Um, so... I'm pretty happy about the dungeon. I think it's worked out pretty well. I'm definitely going to go back in there with uh, some of this money, and I will resume if anything interesting happens. Actually, I suppose before we go back, it would be wise to open up the keys and the mystery boxes and all that shit. So I'm going to turn everything in and uh, just kind of show you the highlights. Yeah, 10 sinister keys. Might as well open these. Unintentionally rhyming. Nice. Nice, no, not bad, nothing crazy, but not bad. Okay, so we have three master caskets. Not bad. Probably gonna rock the Guthix just because they look a little better than the gray Bando. So then we've got 37 mystery boxes and one oak chest left. We also have a couple crystal keys, but uh, I don't know. You know, like I, like I like I said, if anything interesting happens, I'll show you. But I don't expect much happen. I gotta organize this bank a little bit better. I mean, it's 10 mil cash. That pays for one tenth of a Ash dungeon trip, so. Let's go! 37 mystery boxes. Nothing amazing. Nine more. Uh, another oak chest. It's actually a two. It's a two for. Not bad. Not bad at all. We definitely got some money back. We got a lot of things we can disassemble for some lucky components. We still got some more smaller tier clues. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. What I'm going to do is just clean up my bank a little bit, sell everything, alcohol, whatever, and then uh, probably get back in that dungeon. Alright, so the nice thing about this is we definitely have enough components for a lucky amulet now. So we actually have all of our lucky items minus the luck of the plugs done. So let's get the amulet of fury out. We already have the schematic. Let me get to the place. If you ever wondered how to make a lucky amulet, so you need the schematic, 1.5 mil lucky components, and then go to Eagle's Peak. There's a dude here by a rabbit snare, I believe, is the only thing you need. There's a 100 level required, but it's very low. I think it's like 30 or something like that, maybe possibly even lower. And then just click that, and then get this, combine it with that, and there you go. A lucky amulet. So now we've got lucky items up to wazoo. So the only improvement we can really make is the luck of the pugs, and that's way down the road anyway. So we've, we've got ourselves a pretty nice setup. We should be able to get some nice loots. Oh, wow, that's cool. I just got an anguish kit, and it did not yell. So that's actually a pretty rare item that actually disassembles for quite a lot of components. Um, I don't know if I want to... I, I really like the way it looks, but it's one of those things where it's never going to be able to have lucky item. I, I, I put a stand, and I said that we're never going to... We're never going to make the... the want to make kit have lucky. you got to choose between luck and a fashion, so... Um, Maybe I'll have to change my mind now Now that I have it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right, so I just noticed I actually have 40,000 pug points, and that's enough to, like, do something. The question is, what? <laughs> what do we do? We can buy any box we want. Um, I think the unique box is the way to go. Uh, let me let me look let me look so you're getting a little inside scoop here if you want to know everything that is in the box and the chance uncommon is i believe one in six let me let me, let me double check yeah, it's more like one in five so uncommon is one in five and then rare is one in ten so um 
you know, just keep, just you know, just use that for to keep to keep that in the back of your mind. Uh, so in terms of what I would want, gloves would be cool. A bracelet would be cool. I could live with bone sack. I don't want a rapier. I don't want a ring of fortune. I don't really want an eternal ring. I take it, but I don't want it. I don't want a bell. I don't want the chompy hat. Um, and I don't want a rare box or a magic chest because I could just buy one of those. I don't want the trident. There's a lot of... See, the problem is there's a lot bad. But with the raid box, there's some bad stuff in there too. And I feel like there's some better stuff in here. Like, I feel like this has more potential, but... I don't know, dude. A raid box with the rapier. Let's... Er, not rapier. Twisted bow. That's going to be... That would be crucial. I... I... <laughs> I'm gonna second. I'm gonna second guess this decision. I just, I just feel like there's so much more I don't want than stuff that I do want with this table. So let's see. Oh my god! No, that is, that is just fucking. I'm gonna test it right now. I'm gonna open the freaking unique box. I want to know what it would have been. I want to know how, how just fucked I just got. I, I swear, if it's imbued eye or, or the bracelet or the gloves. Like I'd be, I'm gonna be pissed as hell. Let's do it. We're finding out. We're finding out how screwed I am. I think that's the wrong box. That is the wrong box. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Damn it, dude. But nice. So it actually doesn't yell. But I just got an amulet of the damned. That is the thing that like boosts all the barrel sets. That's pretty awesome. Wow! I just got another lucky shoe. Alrighty. So I just finished my trip. Let's check. We do. I did withdraw a couple things. Uh, we have a movie mystery box. Got some master caskets. We got some nice stuff. We we definitely. Um, how many players we have right now? Thirty-two. Bad. Actually, had on forty people on a couple minutes ago. So we're actually getting back up there. But uh, let me let me get everything ready. I suppose. All right. Let's do this, Mister Box. Um, that's all right. I'll take it. Whatever. Six caskets. Please, something good. We got that English kit, but it doesn't really, like, help us. I want something good that helps us. Hey, there's a dragon play buddy on my kit. I wonder how... Like, I don't think anybody wants that. But most people who would collect it would probably just want to get it themselves. Teammates kit. Alright, last shot. Mystery box. Eh. Eh. We got ten clues, but... Okay, we got two masters. Three caskets. Bam. Bam. Bam! No! Alright, so I'm gonna go turn all the things in, get a bunch of mystery boxes, open them up, and then get super bit sad. I think I'm actually not going to buy mystery boxes. I think I'm gonna buy Beads of the Dead at 5 mil. They're pretty good for Echthanakos. You need 50 prayer points to damage him, so that's a pretty solid item to get. So I'm just gonna... We're just at 4. Just four sad panda mystery boxes. Sad pandas. We actually got a Zamorakian sphere. That's too funny. That is too funny. Alright guys, so this is our first attempt at God Wars 2. We are at the Saren boss. This is what we're going to be using. I've heard that DH is actually uh, doable. This is a hot tip I got from John. So we're going to try this out. And then for the luck boost towards the end, I'm going to switch to this. Going with the Dragon Darts just because I think they have pretty good accuracy and speed, so if just a little bit of health left, that should suffice. And then uh, Crystal Halberd will be the main drop. Also got a couple Chug Jugs to assist us on the food. Let's, uh, let's do it. So I think range, right? Yep. And then we'll just let it hit me before. You know, uh, that, that's how I came on. I don't know what her max hit is. Actually, I can find out. 60. So... We'll have to... Well, 60 for melee. Ah, oh, boss. I wonder if I should pray melee, then. I should probably play... The range is only 38, so we're going to rock melee prayer. I think she can still hit through that, but I'm not 100% on that. So we'll just... We'll just rock it. But yeah, this seems... This definitely seems doable. I mean, we've yet to hit it. Now... Now, 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 now I got it, right? I think I... Uh, oh. Yeah, so we'll just kind of, like, flow around this hell. Um... I guess I'll resume if I'm close to killing it. Hopefully we can, 84. I forgot my Amulet of the Dam, but the Amulet of Dam does work with DH. It just makes you hit more... I think that it makes you hit stronger and a little bit more accurately. Um, 
so, to be honest with you, regardless of your health, be the, the amulet of the damned effect works no matter what. But um, we've we've got like 400 health done. I think we can do it. I think we can get one kill with it. And as long, I mean, the crystal rain special attack is kind of it's it's random. I think it's one in 30 that it triggers, and it's pretty easy to avoid if you're paying attention. So should be okay. We should be able to get this kill. This will be our first God Wars to kill on the series. All right, so it's at 754 health left, but I am completely out of food. I only have these, so I uh, might be cutting it pretty close. I think I just specced, right? Yeah, I thought I had one, so I should have just used it. It's working relatively well. Like, you can see I did use one full inventory per kill, but that's just kind of God Wars 2. Like, that's what I'm expecting. God Wars 2 is designed for two people, but one person can solo it. It's just... You know, isn't isn't the best kills per hour, if you will. And obviously, we're using not the recommended gear. Realistically, you'd want like max offense with like an Elven Battle Axe or his Rosian Sight, something like that. All right, slow. I think that that health is accurate. So we'll actually, it can hit 38, so might as well hit 37 because if I die, that'd be annoying. Just gotta make sure we get the shield on quickly and just in case we do KO it. Alright, 74 health. We can hit that, so... Let's just try... I'm just curious to see how, how much damage that's actually going to do. I lost two jugs, well. They're not that hard to make, though. Just a couple of uber components and some organic components. Alright, so that is as, as inconsistent as I thought it was going to be. I'll just have to make sure to get the shield on, I guess. Okay, 47 health. Come on. Come on. I don't think the gear should make that much of a difference. I guess my, my assumption that this would be accurate was wrong. I might have... Th You're supposed to use a tentacle whip. That's like the preferred weapon... But I'm not particularly interested in, <laughs> in in doing... Oh, God. Luckily, there's no timer on that, so you can just get straight to full health. 15. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Please. Uh, yeah. Doodly do. This thing... This is the tankiest one. This is, this is considered the tank. It has the most defense... I believe it has the most health, so this doesn't really surprise me right here. I just don't have a good... It's weak to slash. That's what you want to use. I just don't have a very good slash weapon, and I don't know if Dragon Skim... I, I probably think Dragon Skimitar would be better than than these darts have been, so I'll probably switch to Dragon Skimitar and give that a go. I just wanted something that I could kill it with a shield on, because the shield provides a lot of... A lot, Come on, die, you bitch. Yes? No? It's gaining health. <laughs> it's gaining health back. Die. <laughs> Please, that's it. Is that it? Elune is dead. Elune is dead. The first kill. Why did she look long right there? Did anybody else see that? She looked long. First kill is a key ring. That's not, like, the greatest. But I'm happy we've got our first kill. That is the first kill on this account. That is the first kill on the From Scratch. We've, we've made it. We've we've made it. Now let's keep going. Let's keep